Hey everybody, it's Doug Schaub with the Make Mania Home Team over at Remax Oceanside. In this week's episode, I got Curry White here with me. He's a newer broker on our team and he loves surfing. So we thought we would talk about some really cool spots in Maine to go surfing. So let's do this. All right, everybody. Hey, like I said, uh, this is Curry White. Curry White, say hello. Hey, everybody. Curry is uh, a newer member of the team. He's a great guy, and he really loves surfing. He also likes hockey, too. That's kind of why we get along so well. But uh, anyway, he loves surfing, so we thought we would do a video around like just cool spots in Maine to go surfing. I've always thought surfing was interesting here in Maine because of how cold it is and stuff like that. It gets very cold. I bet. Before we dive too much into that, though, tell me uh, real quick about, like, how'd you get into surfing? Like, what, what got you into it? So I'm fairly new to surfing, but uh, I got to go out to Maui last summer and uh, rented a board out there, got in the water a little bit, uh, just about a year ago. So Sweet. definitely new to it. So what kind of like, what kind of learning period do you need? Like if, like if I said, hey, Curry, take me out today. Like, is this going to, like, am I going to be up surfing today or is this going to be a, I'm falling around for three weeks? If you get a thicker board, kind of like a paddle board almost, you can definitely have some success so like right away. But um, getting into like bigger waves and surfing on like some smaller boards definitely takes some practice. So I found out. I bet. <laughs> yeah. When you make the transition. Yeah. 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 I can, I can understand that. Are there any cool shops like nearby that you like to go to? There are some really cool shops. Actually, right over in Scarborough, my favorite shop is going to be Black Point Surf Shop. Uh, okay. Great people over there. I think, yeah, I think I've driven by that a bunch. I've, oh, yeah. so I can almost picture the look. Yeah. Let's jump into just like some cool spots around Maine. But before we do that, like you go surfing all four seasons, right? Yeah. Any, anytime. I know yeah. we've talked about this. When it's that cold in the winter, like what, what do you got to put on? You put on a really thick wetsuit with a nice hood on it. It is quite the hassle to put on. And then uh, some booties and some gloves, and you're good to go. Really? Yep. So, uh, not too much, but... Your face is out, though? Your face is out. You can throw on, like, some lotion or something if it's pretty windy, but I usually just go out as is and uh, right. air the elements. What's with that? I've, I've never done any, like, polar plunge or anything like that, so I don't have any frame of reference. Yeah. But if you go in the water, even with your face out... Is it outrageous cold? It'll wake you up for sure. I bet. It, it's a lot like an ice bath. <laughs> and, uh, I gotta that sounds awful. It can't be. I'm sure it's a lot of fun. It's gotta be pretty yeah. good to get yourself yeah. ready to go out. There. Right. Yeah. I imagine yeah, I imagine you get used to it too, I'm sure. But as long as it's only your face. But mm -hmm. why don't we talk I know probably your favorite one mm -hmm. we talk about all the time is Higgins Beach in yeah. Scarborough, right? Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about that? What what makes that like your favorite spot? I just really like Higgins because uh, it's got a better wave. Like some places might be flat that day, but Higgins usually is something that you can ride out there. Right. And other than that, like it's just a great place. A lot of friendly people out there. So I'll even go and sh shoot like surf photography if I'm not getting in the water that day. And well, fun. Just meet a lot of cool people out there. Really friendly uh, little environment. I imagine you surfers are probably a tight knit group a little bit. At least you get yeah. there. You get to yeah, only get to know some people. I started surfing there when I wasn't very good, and I'm gotten much better, and I'm still surfing there. So it's kind of got like a spot on the beach for everyone. It does. Okay, good. Yeah. I wonder why that is. Do you know? Is that just because of the way the cove comes in or something? Um, you know? So on the right side, I think there's a little sandbank. So you get a bigger wave over on that right side. And then yeah. if you go over far on the left side, it's usually a little bit smaller and more forgiving if you're uh, still figuring out the ropes of surfing. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah, that's very cool. Let's talk about Long Sands in York. I know you haven't been there as much as Higgins, but what can you what can you tell me about that? So it is a little further away from where I live, but it's a really fun wave and definitely worth the drive too. It's also like a really longboard friendly wave, I'd say. Uh, not too punchy at all. So for beginners or like, you know, old yeah, yeah, chubby guys like myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's honestly, I'd say it's similar to Higgins in the aspect that like you can go there if you're not that great or if you are really good. The conditions obviously vary, but when it's really good, it's it's a super fun wave to ride. And if it's a small wave, you can still have some fun out there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Now, another one that uh, you mentioned was Pine Point in Scarborough mm -hmm. there, which I know is kind of connected to Old Orchard. Yeah. I imagine Old Orchard gets crowded, but yeah, um, Pine Point's a little less crowded. What's, uh, what's great about that one? I like that a lot because I would say it's a better longboard wave than Higgins. And when Higgins has like 35 people in the water because it's so popular, you can just go on over to Old Orchard and Pine Point. And the conditions are usually pretty similar and way less crowded. Yeah. I I, may, I mean, that's like, what, a seven-mile beach or something, I think yeah, they call it. Yeah. So I imagine you could find a spot and say that's a thing with there. Yeah. Right. Or I'd be running over people or trying to chase people off waves. So yeah. It's, yeah. It makes, makes it's more friendly. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay. Now, one uh, 
is it Gooch's? Gooch's Beach in Canada? Blanco? Yeah, I think I've been down there just kind of, you know, checking it out. Um, have you been to that one? I've driven by it. I haven't actually paddled out there, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. So that's definitely up on my list. I think especially like next fall, I'd like to get out there when the waves yeah. really start building. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've heard really good things about it. Right. So since uh, since you're huge into surfing, are you are you constantly like, oh, where can I go? Where can I check out? Yeah, I have my little app on my yeah. phone and I have like my whole main section on it. So I'll just scroll through, see where um where it looks the best for that day. and. Uh, right. Yeah, it's my little cheat sheet. No, right. Really good. Oh, yeah. yeah, which yeah, which is going to be good with the tides are all yeah. that kind of stuff. One last place uh, which isn't written down here, but I just wanted to kind of ask about was like the the Pond Cove here in Cape Elizabeth, mm-hmm. only because I drive by it constantly. There's that yeah. cove. Uh, you know, you haven't been in there yet, right? I haven't. That one looks like a death trap to me because it's like filled with rocks. I mean, it also looks like a death trap to me. If I got a lot better, I might try it just for fun because you have some pretty awesome views over there. Yeah. But I think there's a lot of rocks that are not very forgiving looking. Right. And I don't want to bring any bad juju, but it might be a little sharky over there. Oh, well. yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, we're going to stay away from those. Yeah. So before we head out, first off, what was your worst digger? I'm assuming you fall a lot when you're surfing. You can, so, especially starting it. Yeah. Out. Yes. Is there, a, is there any, like, vivid memory of, like, oh, that was pretty rough? <laughs> I have two that definitely stand out to me. The first one, it was a pretty choppy day, about five foot waves and terrible conditions. But I was like, hey, let, let's just count and trash it. And um, I ended up uh, on top of the rock at Higgins Beach. Oh, there's one rock. It's very hard to miss, but it moves pretty quick. I um, I ended up <laughs> right on, on the only rock. Yeah. Wait, did you lose the board? I did. I, it's gone. The board was getting pushed right over the rocks, and it was taking me with it, so I had to cut the leash. Just like gone. Just let it go. Did you? Were you able to retrieve? Yeah, it went up onto the beach. It, oh, it's it okay. Right. I, I thought it was like holy, like all right, you're gonna find it over in Europe or something. <laughs> <laughs> Follow that one up. What What was like your best experience? Uh, uh, you know, surfing in Maine here. What? You know, was there like a an awesome wave that you caught yeah. once, and you were like, that was the best. I just remember um one time it was like a nice like six foot, like probably five foot to six foot day out. And I just got into one like really clean wave, um, just right on the right spot of it. And I was kind of practicing keeping my knee lower. So I was like pretty low on the board and I just felt myself kind of shooting down the line on it. And it was, um, it was a lot of fun. Just being able to look up and see like the wall of water right next to me. That seems kind of like, I can almost picture like all the cool pictures of Southern that you're like, that was the only one that stands out. That's yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Very cool. Well, hey, thanks, man. Of course. Um, yeah. yeah, this was great, man. Uh, you know, so anyway, guys, um, if you're surfing or if you're a surfer, let us know your best spots. Comment below. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, hit us up. I'm Doug Schalk. This is Curry White. We're with the Make Man Your Home team. And remember, to make man your home, you don't have to do it alone. Let's get in like one of these, maybe. Ooh. <laughs>